to worship at 4th Street as we move through this difficult week in the Christian year and this difficult day. I invite you to be reflective as we worship our God this noon. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far away, so far from saving me, so far from the words of my groaning? The Holy One has not turned away from the suffering of the world. God, the focus of our worship, is here, present with us, holding pain deep in the heart of God, calling us into the world to touch, to heal the suffering. Let us pray. For the movement of the Spirit in our souls, we give thanks as we are drawn into deeper relationship with the Holy. On this day of great sorrow and grief in the Christian year, we see the pain, the grief, the struggles, the longings of the world held close in the heart of God. We come to understand our sacred work of letting the suffering of the world enter into our own hearts. We come to discover our sacred work of giving our lives to heal the suffering of the world. As we move through the stark realities of this day, as we move into the emptiness of tomorrow, May we find the words for which we are grasping, trying to describe a longing we do not fully understand. May we keep reaching, searching, stretching for something we cannot yet see, for something more, something hopeful, something real, as we try to abide with Jesus this day. Holy One, Abide with us. Amen.
been rendered. The people have spoken. The leaders, the soldiers, the crowds, the criminals, the followers, and Jesus move toward a place called the Skull. As they led Jesus away, they see Simon, a Cyrenian, who was just coming in from the fields, and forced him to carry the cross behind Jesus. A large crowd was following, many of them women, who were beating their breasts and wailing for him. At one point, Jesus turned to these women and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, don't weep for me. Weep rather for yourselves and for your children. The time is coming when it will be said, Blessed are the childless, the wombs that never have given birth, the breasts that never have nursed. Then people will say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, Cover us up. For if they do these things when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Two others were also led off with Jesus, criminals who were to be put to death. When they had reached the place called the Skull, they crucified Jesus there, together with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. And Jesus said, Abba, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. <laughs> 